Hello and welcome to this Python Nugget video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use um, the carriage return control character to do um, in place test replacement. Okay, uh, this is also mouthful, so I'm going to make an example so that you understand what I'm trying to say. So, like always, I'm going to um, change this into a test cell. I will delete this up here and then I'm going to add a title over here. So, um, um, using carriage return, carriage return, or the slash r character. Let me put it into quotes. Or no, I mean, you, you'll understand. So, using carriage return for in place test replacements okay so like I said this is a mouthful but um, after this example you understand what I'm trying to do so what is a carriage return so the carriage return is a control character we use when um, we are printing to um, the output stream and um, if you know about control characters you know that if you do something like slash n you're basically telling the the um, receiver of, of that stream to move to the next line okay so if you print and then you put a slash n at the end what you're basically saying is that move to the next line now there is another character called slash r which is a carriage return and what a carriage return does is it helps you to um, reset the start position of um, the stream to which you are writing to now why would we want to do um, in place um, 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 test replacement. Let me let me show and show you an example so that you understand this whole thing. So let's say um, you're writing a console application, and um, by console I mean your UI is basically the the terminal. Okay. Now you want to give progress report to your user. Let's say you are processing a thousand or hundred thousand or a million records, and then at any point in time you want that your users to know that I am processing the um, um, record hundred of one million. 101 of 1 million like you just want to keep them updated without what I'm going to show you and, and, and also without maybe something like n cases what you end up doing is print each pro update progress on a new a new line which is just going to um, I mean it's going to clutter the view and um, it doesn't really make sense so let me show you what I feel doesn't make sense so basically I'll say um, um, let's say task count task count let's say I'm doing a um, hundred task and then I'll say for for let's say um, count in range task count then I'm going to do print and um, I'm also going to use the F strings here so I'll say processing and then I'll say count plus one of task count jobs okay if I do this see what happens so we have a hundred lines just to keep the, the the user updated processing one of hundred jobs two of hundred jobs three of hundred jobs this is um, not bad but it doesn't really make sense like if you are updating the user then you have to do the update in place so the essence of this um, nugget is to show you how you can achieve this type of in place test replacement using the carriage return okay so what's going to happen here is basically you just say slash r and that means anytime the print statement is going to print something it has to start i mean it has to reset the start position of the stream okay and i'm also going to force it not to append um, a new line after each print because by default the print statement in Python is going to append a new line and uh, please excuse me for the background noise that you hear there is a construction work going on in my apartment so um, please bear with me okay all right so I have this um, slash R here and then I am saying processing count blah 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 and then I say end is equal to empty string so I don't want it to append a new line after the print now the last thing we want to do is we want to flash the um, standard output stream after each print okay so to do that I'm going to import sys so I'll say import 
sys because that is the module where we have a function that will help us to be able to flash the standard output stream. So after each print, what I'm going to do is sys.stdout.flash. Okay. Now, so I, I always reset the, the starting position of the output stream. I do my printing and I say do not close it, do not finish it with a new line and then I flash it. So it's like you are basically writing to the same line over and over. So you achieve some form of animation which I think is cool. So let's see. Um, it's going to be very fast because 100. So let's see. Sorry, you, you, you missed that. Let me run that again. So you can see uh, that is too fast. Let me increase this to maybe 100 million. And at that point, um, Jupiter also complained, but then it's good enough to convey the point I'm trying to make here. So see something. You see that it keeps updating. It keeps updating itself, but it's happening on the same line. It's not like I'm, I'm printing them on separate lines. Okay. So this is a very cool way of giving progress support to your users without having to do each printing statement on a new line and basically the trick here is you use the carriage return to reset the starting point of your output stream and you also tell the print statement not to end it with a new line and after each print you flash flashing is going to force whatever you have printed onto the screen and by um, combining these three tips you are able to uh, uh, um, replace the test in place and so you achieve some form of animation in your console and um, you don't clutter your UI with too many print statements. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next nugget.